What's up, Tuba Knights? Uh, this is The Onion from The Onion Sack. Ha ha ha. I just want to make a quick video on my my LEDs that I installed. I ended up getting the clusters. I just didn't want to get a regular bulb, so I got the clusters. I don't think these are the pancake clusters. Anyway, I ended up buying a pair. They're like 90 bucks a piece, so I had to get one set at a time. Bought a set, tried to install them here. Didn't fit. Called the manufacturer. Yeah, they should fit. So, oh, what, what, what the hell? They're not working. And then it dawned on me. Hey, dumbass, try the front. So I came to the front, popped this off, popped the bulb out. And very easy to take out. You got this little cap here. There's a, you can twist this thing. And there's a uh, piece underneath. You just stick a little screwdriver in it, twist it, and the thing pops out. Take the bulb out. Plug and play. Install this. You got some cable on there about like that much so you kind of want to twist turn it put those in put your lens caps back on <clears throat> put them on they worked great loved them I thought oh man I got to get some rear ones now definitely got to get the rear ones so the reason I installed them in the rear first and did not try the front was because I didn't know there was a difference between 1156 and 1157. 1156 single filament, 1157 dual filament. And what that means is these run are running lights and they're turn signals. The ones in the rear are just turn signals. Durr did not know that. Being a new rider, like I said in previous video, you live and you learn. So I got the rear ones. Put the rear ones on and had the flash. Had the real quick flash. It's like, oh, what's what's going on here? So looking online again, thank God for the internet, I had to buy a load equalizer right there. This little orange ditty right here. And it's very easy to install. This uh, cover right here just plainly pops out. And uh, the reason I got it rubbed down there is just in case it falls because there is a little lip that it hooks into. But it should be all right. But the reason I'm making this video is because when I took the seat off, and the seat's very easy to take off, you take this one screw out, you push in, up, and pull out. And there's a little lip right here that this right here fits into. <clears throat> you pop that out. Well, when I removed the seat, the only cable I seen was this one. And as you see, this says, I don't know if you can see it, engine. Has nothing to do with my turn signals. So I'm like, okay, what the hell? Everything I read said it was under the seat. Uh, I'm not finding it. So I looked for a day. Don't laugh. I looked for a complete day. And then eventually I had a different angle at it. And the angle I was at was over here. And what I had seen was that my turn signal light was actually underneath this bar. The whole thing was underneath the bar, up underneath here. Drove me crazy, man. I looked for a whole damn day for that thing. And then finally, like I said, I had a different angle on it, seen it, pulled it out, and you don't know how relieved I was. Very easy to install. You got two cables on the equalizer. One goes on one side of the cable, one goes on the other side of the cable. You tuck this back in, Put your cover back on, which I think it just, yeah, right there. We'll leave it like that. <laughs> That's why I put the rug down. Uh, tuck this back in, put your cover back on, put your seat back on, and everything worked great. Just wanted to make a video for those of you who were going mad because you couldn't find that cable that was stuffed up underneath this bar. I'm telling you, you could not see it. The only cable you could see was this one. And like I said, I wanted to make a video so uh, other new riders and uh, new guys working on their bikes could uh, maybe get a real li little relief by watching this and seeing, hey, maybe the damn thing's up underneath here. Because that's where it was at. Uh, just wanted to say thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. See ya.